So, um, for this week, I better do one more vlog style review. I'm gonna get back back on schedule with Batman for next week. Um, so I recently got a new streaming box. You may have noticed that my videos looked a little different for as far as for gameplay capture on my regular um or semi regular Friday streams. Um, I kickstarted and got the Genki Shadowcast Pro 2. I previously used the original Shadowcast, and it was okay, but it also only did 1080p 30, and I wanted I wanted 60, because the games I'm playing are captured are at 60. And the Shadowcast Pro 2 was advertised as being supporting 4K 60 and doing HDR pass-through, because the device I've been using before this, the L, which was uh, the Elgato. Nice thing about backgrounds is you don't do see things fall off shelves. The uh, 4K 60S2. I'll edit that out. So my previous device I was using was the um, Elgato 4K 60S Plus, which did do 4K 60 pass through. Um, did not actually handle HDR well though uh, but it did have a nice thing going for it where you could capture straight to micro sd card which worked well for doing nintendo power retrospectives because i could then have the hdmi output from the uh retro tink 5x that i was using um i know i've since upgraded to 4k retro tink 4k um and have that going into the elgato and captures like n64 gameplay footage straight to micro SD card, take that over to the computer and have that for Nintendo power retrospectives and great. Um, however, uh, as part of the process of upgrading my, uh, retro tank five X to the four K, I found myself going, you know what I really wanted to do or like to do right now. I got a whole bunch of VHS tapes to digitize. And when I saw the Elgato available for, I don't know, rather the uh, uh, Genki Shadowcast available for Kickstarter, I thought, you know, the Shadowcast one was okay. This is better. And, or like, it looks better. And does the HDR pass through? Because one of the problems I've been having is basically I would do a stream. I would then have to restart my um, sound bar that the video pass through is going through to re-authenticate and get HDR again if I wanted to play something with HDR on my own, like playing um, Forza Motorsport or whatever. And, and I'd have to do that every single time. And that was tedious. And so my hope was with the Shadowcast Pro 2 was, oh, I won't have to do that restart anymore. It will just pass through. This picture on my TV will be, have the HDR. We'll see how things look on my computer. Um, but this saves a bit of hassle there. It doesn't have the um, SD pass through, but that's okay. And then I could take the Elgato, take that with my um, with the, uh, v with the, um, virtual tank five X and the and a VCR, which has S video out, hook it all up and digitize all these VHS tapes of PBS specials and episodes of PBS programs that didn't get DVD releases or the DVD releases are out of print or what have you, um, record them, um, digitally burn them to, uh, Blu-ray and everything is funk hunky dory. And so that that's my next project. I'll talk about that later once it gets started on that. Um, but otherwise, um, as far as the actual setup goes, it works all right. Um, I've got things set up for doing some actual gameplay capture from, um, into Bandicam, which is what I've been, um, figure I would use for rather than using OBS for the actual on camera footage stuff. And I'll probably drop a few seconds of that here. 
uh, some of the 4K and some of the um, of the 1080p level stuff. This is stuff I would have captured through using the RetroTank 4K of um, playing Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition on the Switch. To give you an idea of what that looks like with uh, going through the upscaler on the uh, 4K there. So to just give a bit idea. Um, without too much fancy stuff going on on that side of things. Um, otherwise, the main issue I run into, well, this is the place where I need to do some more experimenting, is as you may have noticed on the Halo Infinite Let's Play, the colors are a little muted, to say the least. And it can, and it can get kind of dark. And I need to do some fiddling with OBS to find out Basically, what do I need to do to um, fix the color balance stuff for the gameplay footage coming in? Because um, mucking around with the colors in the editing software in DaVinci Resolve has its own problems because that color balance stuff isn't happening on me. It's happening in the game, in the gameplay footage coming in. So if I muck around with it too much, I'm going to look weird. Um, whereas if I, um, so got to figure out how to handle where I need to go for the settings there. Um, but that's the next step there. Uh, otherwise like my footage, like the, the footage coming in through that's not HDR looks very good. Uh, I'm pleased with how that turned out. I'm particularly interested to see how this goes with like, I hadn't actually gotten around to doing proper, um, well, actually, no, I had done the, um, uh, have done the N64 footage yet. In fact, the previous episode of Nintendo Power Retrospectives, the N64 footage on that was captured using the, uh, Genki Shadowcast and going through the Retro Tink 4K. Next, so as far as the gameplay goes, so still room for experimentation there for, Handling HDR gameplay on the, um, or going through the Yankee Shadowcast, but otherwise the non-HDR stuff. This is honestly looking pretty good. Um, I am pleased with this as a setup. Now this may be something that is fixed by the um, by relevant equipment by um, Elgato or Evermedia but I need to do some more research and reading on that. I found their relevant equivalents, which are more expensive than what I, than the uh, Yankee. Um, but those also have better software on the back end. and not to put too fine a point on it, Yankee's own software is a little, eh. um, so research to do on that. And to find out how well those handle HDR and adjusting color settings and that sort of thing. That that's basically the next step. So, um, if you have any advice on like particular videos for handling processing HDR video into OBS, uh, please, by all means, let me know in the comments below. Um, this is not a paid review or anything like that. Again, full disclosure, I backed the Shadowcast Pro 2 on Kickstarter. So I've got so keep that in mind when it comes to evaluating my perspective on the software itself. So anyway, with that taken care of, catch you all next week.
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.